Hey guys, it's Ant. And as you can see from the title, I've started reading Soten no Ken, and I just wanted to give my thoughts on it. I am on the first 20 chapters, and I can proudly say it's really boring. It's, it's so boring. <laughs> it's funny, I actually have a clip of me talking about Soten no Ken because I was going to make a tiny video before I started reading it. I'll probably play a little bit of it for you right now. I think it's gonna be pretty good. I have a, I have a good feeling. I'm trusting you guys with that, right? It's most likely going to be better than HNK2. I don't see any way it's not going to be better than HNK2. Ken Kazumi is going to be a character. You know, I think I'm gonna like him. For something else, I do think the side characters are probably gonna be better. From what I've heard, the Soto no Ken side characters sound like they're better written. But anyways, as you could hear in that recording, I had so much hope and, and joy, and I was like, wow, they had so much time to get their writing-ish together. I can't wait to see what good shit comes out of it. I haven't seen any of that yet. I'm not even gonna lie to anybody. <laughs> There's a lot of problems I feel right now with the pacing. I've been told it's like reverse HNK, where the first half is kind of bad, and the second half is really good, because that's when like Zongu and all of them get introduced, because the start of this book is so boring. I was reading it in the discord the discord that you should join by the way is going to be in the description i can't wait for a villain to show up there's like no main villain to focus on for like the first 10 20 chapters there's one guy who shows up for like three chapters he loses in like two seconds and surrenders and then for the other 10 there's just nobody literally real talk there is a minor villain who looks like the most generic character ever and his fight is like five chapters long his fight is longer than the jaggy fight and that's a problem because no one cares about generic boxer guy number five. I wanted to die. <laughs> I was sitting there like, there's no way we haven't killed this guy yet. And the only reason they did it is because they were so busy talking about things that don't matter <laughs> that the fight couldn't continue. They were like, is that really Cosme or is that Yi? Oh my God, Goron is struggling. How could I bet my money? I'm like, I, I really don't care. <laughs> I thought Cosme was going to carry this book for me, and at the moment, he's not really acting too different from Ken. If anything, he's not doing anything interesting yet, and that's, um, that's a problem when I'm meant to follow him. And unlike HNK1, where as I said in one of the videos, I was like, one of the best parts of the start of HNK1 is seeing Ken's powers. When you're into Soten no Ken, you've probably finished HNK1, so when Ken does something crazy, it's not as surprising anymore. So then you're just sitting there like, man, I, I can't wait for the plot to get good like the second half of HNK1. I can't wait for that to happen. And I'm still waiting. It's really rough. They introduced some side characters and I'm like, that's neat. I, I can't say I have a reason to care about the side character that they've introduced as of right now with my, with my boy Yi. And I think one of the other main problems is you have to think about, let's talk about HNK1. HNK1, from chapters one to 20, we had the entire entire Shin arc happened. Like Club, Spade, Heart, all of them, and the Shin fight. Within chapters 1 to 20 of Soten no Ken, they've just been talking. They've been, okay, let me break down what I think they've done. Um, we introduced a side character, we've established Kazumi, and we've established he's going against the Mafia. And that's kind of it. I feel like they've been trying to cram backstory down your throat that you don't really care about. I think my favorite moment so far was the fact that they showed um, Ryukin as a kid. That was pretty neat. It's crazy. I really, I don't have too much to say about it. There's just so much nothing going on. I don't even, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. At this point, it really feels like I'm reading a guide. I can't remember if I've said this in a video before, but a guiding sweet spot length is 20 chapters. And the only reason I always say that is because it doesn't give them so much time to just put a bunch of padding filler in. So they have to make whatever story they want to make count in those 20 chapters. So no Ken's first 20 chapters, like I keep saying, there's nothing going on. And I'm really not interested in what they're talking about right now. So I feel like I'm in the big fluff filler part of Soten. And people keep telling me, oh yeah, it gets good after chapter 100. Chapter 100 is like the entirety of HNK1. Do you know how many chapters 100 chapters is? Ugh, I'm gonna be chipping away at it like slowly, but I really want to know what you guys think. When do you think Soten no Ken gets good? This was just meant to be a little quick video to give my little thoughts on Soten no Ken so far, because I'm probably gonna make what ifs about it in the future, maybe talk about the story. Probably not the first 100 chapters, but I guess that's really all I have to say. So with that, I've been in, and I am out.